welcome one and all my name is Thomas and today we are taking a bit of a break from painting mechs and painting some angry super soldiers instead you see I kind of fell in to the Warhammer 40k hole again with the new Dark Angels range refresh you see back before I was spell attacking I was dark angeling but I grew tired I sold off the collection and this new one kind of makes me want to get back into that. So, I have this apocatory, which is the medic unit, sitting around from the latest release box. It's like, how about we shop a bit into him, hack off some things, make him a bit dark angel, in this case mostly just slapping on his shoulder pad, but you know, it is what it is. For those of you familiar with the Leviathan models, understand that that is actually a bit of a work to begin with. Also, this model usually carries a big tank in his hand, I took that away and put in an old style melter grenade. So once that was done, this guy got a heavy dose of black and blue to create a bluish grey base on to which we're going to layer up into a white because apocateries are white, not as Caucasians but in white armor. Now. Basically, I'm using the same layering technique here that I used on the previous videos, which is a thin coat uh, of gradually increasing up to, from the base coat up towards the end coat. End coat. There's another name for that, and I should probably learn that. Anyway, now when you're doing this, the first couple of layers, like two or three layers, you don't need to be particularly careful. Just make sure to not paint over all the recesses. Reese's pieces. Don't paint over. Don't paint over the Reese's pieces because you should get paint on your peanut butter candies. Leave a bit of dark gray in the deepest parts of the model to make sure that you actually have some value differences. This is to avoid it looking entirely flat, because if you forget that, it's going to look flat, and we don't want flat models. I mean, technically, you could then if you just go back in with some wash or similar but why work twice when you can work smart from the start instead so yeah i have a big box of terminators coming if you are not into the 40k thing which is okay i know most of my viewers are not 40k people i don't know actually i don't know if you're 40k people but i know you mostly find me through the bad tech things Anyway, if you for some reason haven't come in contact with 40k, basically Terminators are angry super soldiers in super armor, then they use stick even heavier super armor onto those. The bigger and angrier, basically. It, it, good way to explain this. Have you seen the Marvel movies? Do you remember the Hulkbuster armor? That is basically what it is. You have this guy in an armor, which you then stick on a bigger armor onto. That's Terminator. So I got those coming. We won't do a lot of videos on that. Don't worry. We will mostly stick to our to mix. Basically because I kind of like to paint those things on my own time. So anyway. As you can see now, we are now working up towards a more white white. It looks a bit more white than the actual is because the camera is overexposed slightly, but... You get the gist, gist of it. And now it's we're going to start with detail work. Be careful with what you paint because you want to leave more of the grey underpaint and just pick out the highest points to get as much contrast as you can into it. So for example, picking out the armor panels that are facing the light and making smaller and smaller passes for each, each layer. Making sure that it successfully gets brighter and brighter. If you have the skills, this is a good place to blend the things. I don't do that because I don't have that skill. As you can see, it's now starting to look white. And uh, as you can see on the long cloth, for example, it's the color we started with. So you don't need to be particularly worried about the base coat. But yeah, in essence, oh, great camera work there. Awesome. Anyway, as you can see, we have these values down towards the um, armor panels where you get 
gray, white, 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 white color. Also, I'm painting the cloth white now because we're going to take a little sheety. We're doing a little sheety because nobody actually can be arsed. And then we go over to base coat in the shoulder pad, which hasn't got any base coat so far. And we're using uh, angel green, I think it is. But you can use any green, it doesn't really matter. We are not going to be particularly fancy in that case. If you want to paint dark units, I'm pretty sure you at this point know how to paint dark units. Here's a sheety part. That is contrast paint. I could build up the long cloth with layers too, but there's not a level to how much, how much we actually put into this. Next up is blending a bit of light green, I think it was goblin green, into the green, uh, the inner screen to get a lighter coat and use the same layering technique on the shoulder pad that we use on the legs. Again, the point here is to try and catch the light, so the highest point of the shoulder pad got a nice coat in this very light green. Let it dry a bit, then go over it again to just increase the value. I think it's value. The color theory people out there screaming at me right now. I'm terribly sorry about that. I will learn the terminology. Anyway, so the idea is to basically give the idea that it light is catching. Now, that pretty much is on to finishing up details. Painting the uh, the uh, quilla. I think the... Why, why don't I remember that quote? It's the the wings on the chest. And then going on to paint the silver onto all the uh, metal parts. Painting the gun silver. The pipes on the back. The little computer thing on his belt. The sharp pointy things on his backpack. And the parts of the camera slash floodlight unit he has on his backpack. You know, because silver is one of my favorite things. So yeah. Also the wings on the other shoulder pad. Then we are in with some non oil or your, your dark wash of choice because we need a bit of contrast in the silver and to be honest who can be bothered to paint that in layering silver is difficult to paint layering it's just annoying so we don't do that you can if you want to i don't and um yeah just tying up the loose ends making sure everything looks good uh, i also go with the gun if i show that i go with the gun and everything Giving everything that should have a good solid uh, wash, a wash. And then, that is pretty much it. It's a very quick epoxy. Uh, it took me about, good, about four hours to paint, all in all, with drying times and everything. And as I said, we're going to paint a few more 40k models, but not that many. And um, yep, that is pretty much it. Enjoy the beauty shots coming up, and uh, until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do, do play fair. Bye.